everybody, this is Scarecrow, and we're back with Mario is Missing. We just left Rio de Janeiro, so now let's see what our last city is here before we fight Roy. Ooh, we got the nice loungy music again going. Mm, I'm getting a New York City vibe. Watch TV 200. We got a deli. Let's stomp him. Stomp him. Stomp him. Okay. Yep, we're in New York. There's the Statue of Liberty. Man, I am so good at guessing. <clears throat> oh, there's two of our artifacts already, too. Oh, King Kong and... That looks like it's from Rockefeller Plaza. Okay. Mr. Kong can pick the Empire State Building out of this jungle of skyscrapers. Didn't he climb, climb the Chrysler Building? The plaza was named for Rockefeller. Okay, yeah, I thought that was the Rockefeller Plaza thing. Oh, get back here. I almost hit both of them at once. I don't think he can, but that would have been cool. Okay. I know we're in New York, so let's go to New York. Work with me, Yoshi! Get over there! Working our way up, over to New York. There we go. New York City, New York, USA. United States. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll work our way up, I guess. Hey, what's this? Besides the skyline, the statue in those rings says New York. Carnegie Hall next? What? <laughs> Maybe the big ape could give me a hand up to check the 102nd floor. Okay, why is Rockefeller Center closed? The statue of Prometheus was stolen. Oh, it's Prometheus. Radio City Music Hall was made world famous by the dance troupe The Rockettes. The all-female group was started in Missouri in 1925. They took their name from the Roxy Theater, their original New York City home. The Rockettes have performed their high kicks in Radio City since its opening day in 1932. The music hall was built to be the largest and showiest theater in the world, despite the depression which was then at its worst. The theater is a famous Art Deco landmark. Okay, well, let's return the gold plaque. The statue that overlooks the skating rink is Prometheus. Rockefeller Center Street closes one day a year because... Oh, no. Um... Private property? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. That was not given to me. Probably would have had to ask someone, so I'm glad we got that one. All right. We returned one thing. Let's go take out some more Koopas. A bam! Ooh, that's the last artifact. Cool. Bam. Bam. We got some more on the street. Nope. We'll go ahead and go. Well, can I? Is this where the info booth at? Okay. Why is the Empire State Building closed? King Kong was stolen. King Kong doesn't even belong there. They got rid of him at the end of the movie. Named after New York's. Nickname: The Empire State Building stands 1453 feet tall. At 102 stories, it's the third tallest building in the world and is served by 73 elevators. It's no longer the third tallest building in the world. I'm going to go ahead and say that. It would take 30 minutes to climb the 1860 stairs, but the express elevator will carry you to the 80th floor in under a minute. While King Kong is a fictional figure, the resident window washer can be seen daily, climbing the portable scaffolds which enable her to move easily around the five acres of windows. That's a lot of windows. Each pane gets washed once a month. Okay, I would like to return King Kong. They're like, no, get rid of him! We don't need King Kong! That guy's a menace! How tall is the Empire State Building? Uh, 102 stories. 15, 1453 feet, I believe, was the... Located in Manhattan. I'm, I'm in Manhattan right now. Okay. 
Got that, so we'll go up here. There should be a couple Koopas walking around. There's one, and I think there was a second one over to the left. There he is. Okay. Pretty nice. So we're gonna go down south too, and then take out the Koopa. One. Two. Take him out, and we'll go over this way. <clears throat> I need to get a drink of water. Okay. We'll go ahead and go up here and take out that last Koopa. Which, judging by that map, I think I'm in Jersey now, right? Like, we're... We've crossed Man Manhattan into, like, another area. So I don't know if we're across in Jersey or if we're... Well, we went north, so... I think we're just mainland New York now. Alright. I'm gonna go s to this pipe and see where that sends me. For once, the pipe was actually useful actually sent me somewhere far away okay well that'll help me get out of here then once I take the store the torch back to the Statue of Liberty so the info booths over here why is the Statue of Liberty closed the torch got stolen the Statue of Liberty was a gift from the French people to commemorate the friendship between the countries which started during the American Revolution built by Franco-Italian sculptor Frederick Bartholdi Frederick Bartol Bartoldi. This liberty was dedicated on October 28, 1886. Made from copper, the statue weighs 225 tons and stands 151 feet tall. Her nose alone is 4 feet long. The torch in her right hand is raised above the Hudson River. Her left hand holds the Declaration of Independence. The statue stands on Liberty Island in the New York Harbor. Okay, I'd like to return the torch. What does the lady hold in her hands? A torch and the Declaration of Independence. The Statue of Liberty honors the friendship between the Americans and the French. Yep, that's her. What's up, Lady Liberty? Hawk, hawk. Okay. So let's go up this way so I can take the pipe and then I can get to the blue pipe. Because the blue pipe is right here. Take a quick look to make sure there are no more Koopas running around. Yep, we're good. City secured. Come on. <clears throat> Ooh, the score broke 100,000. That's right. I'm so good at finding stuff. Except not Mario. I'm very bad at finding Mario. I don't even understand the point of these boss fights. There's no danger here, it's just trying to hop on his head over and over again. What is the point of this? Okay, yep. Yeah, take that, Roy. I sure showed you. What's going on now? Oh? Oh, what did I discover here? Oh, it's Mario! Mario! I found you! Uh-oh. The Bowser showed up. Oh! Man, he almost broke the floor. Oh, okay. That lever handles both the gate and a giant hole in the floor that drops to a cannon? Well, uh, see you later, Bowser. <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay, yes, thank you. Launch him into space. I'm tired of him. Oh no, we're just shooting him into the the freezing tundra of Antarctica. Oh my god, what happened to him there? Alright, well, I guess this game ends with us killing Bowser by shooting him into the Antarctic wastes. He is dead. He froze to death. There's no more Bowser. Okay, I was not expecting the game to be that short, but here we are. We finished it. Art director, Vicky Sidley. 
Well, that was a very interesting little diversion. Definitely not what you normally get in your Mario games. Nice educational and fun experience. I hope you learned something about some cities around the world. Some really big, fancy cities and their cool uh, destinations you can go to. It's very interesting. Now, there's also Mario's time machine, so I guess we could do that as well. But I thought I'd sit down and record this. Just, like, sit down and pop out a few episodes, and yeah, this actually didn't take very long at all. Writing and research. Yeah, that's where we got all this cool information. So it was so educational. Music and effects. Sam Powell and Rob Wallace. It's very strange to me because the music is just slightly remixed Mario music, and the sound effects are just, like, explosions and hopping on stuff. But okay. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Scarecrow. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.